All right, so I'm gonna ask you first and foremost, I'm gonna give all praise to you. How about some y'all shot? By some of that's back down. That was also possible. That's good. That's going well. Peace out. Say, say, so for like, where's what shall I want? It's Brother Karatiza. Coming in, this is an impromptu. Hebrews 8, 12. Eight, twelve to thirteen. This is the impromptu. Yeah, I'm gonna get right in the lesson. So Hebrews eight and twelve. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. So that's when uh that's when your how about some you know, comes back, you know, destroys Babylon the Great and uh Free Israel, beginning with the elect, free Israel from the from the last captivity, and freedom from their uh, from their flesh. But, but this is talking about the elect, because the elect is going to do everything they can. They're going to do. They're going to make sure they do everything that pleases the Lord and His. That they're going to do everything to please the Lord and His Son. And that's the point right there, man. You want to please the Most High, because the Most High is in control. You know, prior to my error of getting the Pesach mixed up, getting the dates of Pesach mixed up, mixed up, you know, which got me and what uh, got the brothers rebuked me. I did that to myself, as uh, you, it stated. I stated in my other previous video in my previous channel, but uh, but I've been praying, and, you know, and this this woman. She came with two boxes of pizza, right? She offered me, do I want a pizza? I was like, uh, but then she she gave me a a, a full box, you know, because she said she ain't going to eat all of it, but she gave it to me. You know, like, what, like uh, and that's a, I see that as a blessing. So, the water, your house, your house, you know, for, for, giving, for blessing me with the food, you know. I know I don't deserve anything, but the water... The water, Yahweh, Yahweh Shab, Bahashim, Hawa Kakadash, you know, that's a blessing. So when you have blessings coming to you, that's when you're doing something that's pleasing the Lord, pleasing the Most High and His Son, Yahweh Shab. You know, if you want things to go, if you want things to be smooth at the end, if you want blessings from the Lord, you got to do, you got to do that, that what pleases Him. You know, you can't just you can't just pray and expect him to do his end when you're not doing your part. No, you know, and this is Hebrews eight and thirteen, and that he says a new covenant he has made the first old, now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. So the new covenant is coming as well. So the old we had the old covenant, but we kept going off against the Lord. We kept going off against the Most High, Yahweh. And uh, look where it got us. The worst captivity. It's like it got us to our sin, our, our transgression against the Most High. It got us to the worst captivity, worst state of captivity of all time, and uh, we just gotta, you know, keep praying and doing the works. You know, the, the, the Jacob Sub is almost here. You know, so you gotta do as many as you can. You gotta do. You gotta go hard. You gotta go all in. Because the Lord's finna shut this down, but at the same time, the Lord's gonna have mercy to those who trying to please Him, trying to do right by Him. You know. But it's keeping the statutes of laws and commandments to the best of their ability, keeping the high holy days, you know, and uh, and they're doing the works. Only the Israelite men are supposed to go outside and teach, you know, once a week, do three videos or five a week, you know, go hard, study, show yourself approved, fellowship, you know, paying your tithes, paying your tithes to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. It don't get no simpler than this, man. Okay? You know, and the thing is, you got to be consistent. You have to be consistent of what you're doing. Because we have a goal here. The 
Kingdom of Yahweh. How about some Yahweh Shah? You know, so make sure you watch videos. Make sure you read the scriptures. Make sure you get edified before you start teaching. Teach what you know, but make sure you're teachable. Because, you know, you can't always be right about everything. Only the Lord could do that. Only Yahweh could do that. You know? And when you're making mistakes, man, you got to be able to acknowledge it and learn from it. You know, you just can't say everybody makes mistakes. Use an excuse to justify you keep making the same one again and again. You know? So being consistent is going to... Being consistent is going to get you where you want to be. Which is the kingdom of your how about some young shot. The new heavens and earth. You know? So... You just got to keep teaching, keep praying, keep being teachable, and the Lord is going to provide for you, okay? So, with that, hopefully this is edified. Y'all buy some bark that y'all, bark that y'all shot. Y'all buy some y'all shot, buy some y'all crack that's broken thumb. Them all, so I'm possible to have a good milestone. Well, peace out, say, 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 say